In this section, we introduce program graphs, which is a model of programs that we are going to use. The reason we use program graphs is that they are able to deal with many different kinds of programming languages. Let us first discuss the role of a model. Whenever we look at a system, we are looking at some kind of abstraction of it. We talk about some of the details and ignore others. An example of a model might be the entire workflow in an organization, say a hospital. Another example might be the construction of a detailed cryptographic protocol or sorting algorithm. Yet another example of a model is looking at the detailed bit structure of a computer's memory and perhaps even considering the difference between a strong one and a weak one due to the electrical phenomena of the hardware. What is common is that a model should describe not only the structure of an IT system, but also its meaning at an appropriate level of abstraction. Program graphs constitute a graphical representation of programs. They focus on how a system proceeds from one point to the next by performing some actions. The approach is operational in nature, and to be precise, we must describe exactly what happens when we take an action. That is the notion of semantics. Depending on our level of abstraction, sometimes we will consider values to be integers and sometimes to be bit strings.